everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over grain calculations. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to convert basic problems to grains, like grams, milligrams to grains, and then I'm going to take that and apply it to dosage and calculation word problems. And as always, you can access the worksheet, the quizzes, and the other dosage and calculation series over here or in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started solving our grain calculation problems, let's go over some basic concepts. First thing, the Roman numerals. A lot of times with grain problems, the question will be written out maybe with a Roman numeral. So you need to know the most common Roman numerals used in these problems. For instance, like this problem says grain X equals how many milligrams? A lot of people are like, what in the world is X? X is Roman numeral for 10, so it's like 10 grains. So let's go over these basic ones that you want to commit to memory. SS a lot of times it has a bar written over it or it has two dots, may not have anything. It means a half, so 0.5. ISS, I means one, SS again means half, so it would be one and a half. V means five, X means 10, and XV means 15. Now, whenever I solve these problems, I use dimensional analysis. Analysis. So the magic numbers you want to remember when solving these problems are the following because this is going to make your job a lot easier is this one grain equals 60 milligrams and 15 grains equals one gram. All we have to do is plug those in and we can get our answer depending on if we're trying to get to milligrams or grains. So let's get started with doing some basic conversions. Okay, this problem says Grain X equals how many milligrams? We learned that X is Roman numeral 10. So let's set up a problem using dimensional analysis. So 10 grains equals how many milligrams? Because that is where we're trying to get to. And we know from our magic number that one grain equals 60 milligrams. So one grain equals 60 milligrams. And grains cancels out and we are ready to solve. So multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom and then divide. So 10 times 60 is 600 and carry our one over and 600 divided by one is 600. So 10 grains equals 600 milligrams. Okay, let's see our next problem. Two grains equals how, two grams equals how many grains? Okay, so let's set up our problem. 2 grams equals how many grains? And we know from our magic number that 1 gram equals 15 grains. Grams cancels out and we're ready to solve. So 2 times 15 is 30. Carry your 1 over and our answer 30 divided by 1 is 30. So 2 grams equals 30 grains. Okay, let's solve our next problem. One fourth grains equals how many milligrams? A lot of times these fractions trip people up, but all you got to do is just convert it to a decimal. That's how I do it. It's a lot easier, but if you want to keep it in a fraction, you can. But one fourth is 0.25, 0 0.25. That's what that is. So it'd be 0 0.25 grains equals how many milligrams? That's where we're trying to get. And we know from our magic number that there is one grain in 60 milligrams. Grains cancels out and we're left with milligrams. So 0 0.25 times 60 equals 15. And we're carrying our one over and 15 divided by one is 15. So 15 milligrams. One fourth grains equals 15 milligrams. Now let's look at some word problems. Okay, the first problem says, doctor orders armor thyroid grains 10 by mouth daily. You're supplied with 300 milligram tablets. How many tablets will you administer per dose? So what we're solving for is tablets per dose. That is where we're trying to get. So let's write where we're trying to get. We're trying to get to tabs per dose. And remember, the Roman numeral X means 10. So let's just write that out to help us remember. So it's 10 grains is where we're trying to get. So let's set up our problem using dimensional analysis. Okay. Okay, so the doctor orders 10 grains as one dose. 
and we need to convert this to milligrams because that is what we're supplied with, 300 milligrams. So how many of that of those tablets are we gonna get? So we need to convert grains to milligrams to get there. So we know from our magic number that one grain equals 60 milligrams. Grains cancels out, okay, so we're there. But now we need to apply these numbers to what we're supplied with, and we're supplied with 300 milligram tablets. So 300 milligrams equals one tablet. Okay, milligrams cancels out. We're exactly where we need to be. We're in tabs per dose, so let's solve. 10 times 60 times one is 600, and one times one times 300 is 300, and 600 divided by 300 is two. So we're gonna be giving two tablets to equal that 10 grain dose that the doctor ordered. This problem says, doctor orders Tylenol one gram by mouth every six hours as needed for pain. You're supplied with five grains per capsule. How many capsules will you administer? So we're trying to get to capsules per dose. So let's just write out where we're trying to get, caps per dose. Okay, so let's set up our problem. Okay, the doctor ordered one gram. So one gram is one dose. And we know from our magic numbers that one gram equals 15 grains because we have to convert to get to grains because that is what we're supplied with. So one gram equals 15 grains. Grams cancels out, so we're converted, but let's see with what we're supplied with, how many we're actually going to give. So it says five grains equals one capsule. So five grains equals one capsule. We're there, we're where we need to get. We need to get to caps per dose. So let's multiply everything at the top and at the bottom and divide. So one times 15 times one is 15. And one times one, times five is five. So 15 divided by five is three. So we're gonna be giving three capsules per dose. This problem says, doctor orders a liquid suspension of aspirin, 180 milligrams by mouth daily. You're supplied with grains V per two mLs. How many milliliters will you administer per dose? So instead of trying to solve for tablets or capsules, we're trying to figure out the liquid amount in milliliters. So that's where we're trying to go, is milliliters per dose. And look, we have a Roman numeral in here. So what does V mean? It means five. So in other words, this means five grains. So let's just write that out to help us. Five grains per two mLs. That is what we're supplied with. Okay, so let's set this problem up and solve. Okay, the doctor orders 180 milligrams per dose. And we know from our magic number that 60 milligrams equals one grain. Grain milligrams cancels out. However, we're converted, but we have to get to milliliters per dose because we're supplied with this liquid suspension and we need to know how much to pour out in this cup to give the patient of aspirin. So there's five grains for every five, in every two mLs, there's five grains of aspirin. So five grains, because that's what grain V meant, equals two mLs and grains cancels out, and we're where we need to be, milliliters per dose, so we're ready to solve. So one, 180 times one times two equals 360, and one times 60 times five equals 300. So 360 divided by 300 equals 1.2 mLs per dose. So that is how much we're gonna pour out to give this patient of this aspirin. This problem says, doctor orders diazepam five milligrams IV every six hours as needed for agitation. You're supplied with grains ISS, which again means grains one and a half, per two ml vial. How many milliliters will you administer per dose? 
So we have this vial of uh, diazepam and we're going to, we need to draw up some in our syringe to give this patient. So we're trying to get to milliliters per dose. And remember, ISS means um, grains, one and a half, one and one half grains. Or I like to put mine in decimal, so 1.5 grains per two mLs. Okay, so let's work this problem. Okay, doctor orders five milligrams. So five milligrams equals one dose. And we know from our magic numbers that 60 milligrams equals one grain because we're trying to get to grains because that's what we have on hand. So 60 milligrams equals one grain. Milligrams cancels out where we need to be, but now let's apply that to what we're supplied with. And what we're supplied with is 1.5 grains per every two ml. So every two milliliters we draw up in that syringe, it's gonna have 1.5 grains. So 1.5 grains equals two mls. Grains cancels out and we're where we need to be. We're milliliters per dose, so we're ready to solve. So five times one times two is 10, and one times 60 times 1.5 is 90. So 10 divided by 90 equals 0 0 0.11 repeating, and we'll round that to 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 milliliters per dose is how much we are gonna give this patient of diazepam per what the doctor ordered. This problem says, doctor orders morphine, one eighth grains, IV every four hours as needed for pain. You're supplied with a vial that says two milligrams per ml. How many milliliters per dose will you administer? Okay, so we're trying to get to milliliters per dose. So let's write our goal, milliliters per dose. And I like to convert my fractions one eighth to decimals. So one eighth um, in decimal form is 0 0.125. So that's how many grains we're gonna give. If you ever need to convert a fraction to a decimal real fast, what you can do is just divide one into eight and that gives you your decimal form. Okay, so let's set our problem up. Okay, the doctor ordered 0.125 grains. So 0 0.125 grains equals our dose that so the doctor ordered. And we know that one grain equals 60 milligrams. So one grain equals 60 milligrams. Grains cancels out. Now we got to get how much we need to draw up in our vial because it's in milligrams per ml. So there are two milligrams in one ml. Milligrams cancels out, and we're where we need to be, a milliliters per dose, so we're ready to solve. So 0.125 times 60 is 7.5, and one times one times two is two, and 7.5 divided by two is 3.75. So 3.75 milliliters per dose is what we are going to draw up to give this patient. Okay, that is how you solve grain calculations. Now be sure to go to my website and take that quiz and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.